Ellipse by an arc of circle method. In this video, we will see how to draw an ellipse using the arc of circle method. To draw, we'll take the major axis of an ellipse as 120 mm and the minor axis as 80 mm. Let's draw. First, we need to draw the major and minor axis. Take a ruler to draw a horizontal line of 120 mm in length. Name this line as A and B. After this, we need to draw the minor axis at the center of this line. To do so divide this line into two halves. To divide, take a compass, take the length of more than half of this line. Keep the compass at point A, and cut arcs at both the sides. Similarly, keep the compass at point B, and cut arcs on both the sides of this line. Draw a line passing through these points. This line will be exactly in the middle of this major axis. Name this intersection point as O. We can see our minor axis total length is 80 mm, half of 80 mm will be 40 mm. Take a compass, take 40 mm length on a compass using a scale, and keep this compass at this intersection point O, and cut arcs on both the sides of this line. Mark these points as C and D. This length will be our minor axis. After this, we need to mark focus points on the major axis. To mark these focus points, we need to remember an important property of an ellipse, which says, this distance between point C and focus F1 is equal to the distance between point C and the focus F2, which in turn is equal to half of the distance AB, which is this length. Therefore, to mark focus F1 and F2, Take this distance AO which is half of AB. Keep the compass on point C, and mark an arc on this line AB. This point will be our focus F1. Similarly, mark an arc on line AB, on the other side. This point will be our focus F2. Next, we need to mark some points on major axis, in between points F1 and O. The distance between the points can be anything. Take a compass and take some length on the compass, and mark some points on this line. Name these points as 1, 2, and 3. Before moving on, if you are new to ADTW Learn, click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so that you can get all my latest videos as I upload. After this, we need to take this length between these points A and 1 on the compass and using F1 as a center, cut arcs on both sides. Using the same length, take F2 as the center, and cut arcs on both sides. Next, take the distance between points B and 1. Use F2 as the center, and cut arcs on both sides. Using the same length, take F1 as the center and cut arcs on both sides. Here always remember, while cutting arcs we use F1 and F2 as the centers. Similarly, we have to do for remaining points 2 and 3. Take this length between these points A and 2 on the compass, and using F1 as a center, cut arcs on both sides. Using the same length, take F2 as the center, and cut arcs on both sides. Next, take the distance between points B and 2, and use F2 as the center, cut arcs on both sides. Using the same length, take F1 as the center and cut arcs on both sides. At last, Take this length between these points A and 3 on the compass, and using F1 as a center, cut arcs on both sides. Using the same length, take F2 as the center cut arcs on both sides.
Next, take the distance between points B and 3, and use F2 as the center, cut arcs on both sides. Using the same length, take F1 as the center and cut arcs on both sides. To get the final ellipse we join these points using French curves. Join these points to get an ellipse. This is how we draw an ellipse using the arc of the circle method. I hope this video helped you in understanding how to draw an ellipse using the arc of circle method. If you liked this video, click on the like button, and if you are new to my channel ADTW Learn, click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications, so that you will get notified of all my latest videos.